dude. I love that. I love that tension build up in there, though. Like, just to slow down the silence, the... Together, you and I do what? What do you think? Uh, that's what, what do you like? Like, like from the start, like the welcome on in. You want to do it? Yeah, you will never, but you never sing, Brad. yeah. But I would, I would do it for that because it's not just my voice, and like your voice has a nice presence, and I could just kind of be like the background. I get really nervous when it's just my part at the end, like, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Well, after I heard harmonies with, like, the one group, you know, that we can't talk about. The, the, those who shall not be named. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I heard harmonies, and ever since then, I was like, wow, that sounds really great. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, me and Lucas could probably do that if we actually, you know, wanted, wanted to. to. Yeah, instead of doing... But like, instead, you and Lucas are, like... Shaky. You and Lucas are, like... Half. Yeah! Yeah! Uh. Well... That was my impression of you guys. We do things. <laughs> it's because it, you put a lot of pressure on us. You have a beautiful voice, and then it just goes to us, and it's like get good scrub. I, <laughs> I'm trying. The water here, it's doing something. The water, it's the water here. Yeah. Technically, they keep serving us ice and everything. We're not really certain. Like we look around, <laughs> and nobody else is icing their stuff, but we have ice in our stuff, so we're just going with it. We haven't. I mean, we haven't told them not to. We haven't, you know, died yet. No. The first so, day here, though, you were able to belt out some crazy I notes. I was able to get some notes here. Maybe it's because we're on, the, like, the 16th floor. It's the altitude. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, you want to try? You want, you want to do this? Yeah, no, I want to... Do I need to give you a reference note? What is... I don't know what that means. Like a, like a starting note, so, like, you're on the same pitch. Sure. So, like, uh... Because your voice is, is lower, so... Mm -hmm. I'll choose... Uh, well... Okay. Well... Okay. Okay. You ready? Uh-huh. Uh -huh, All right. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome on into the channel. Yeah. yeah. You were so nervous. I was Your so lips. Nervous. I know. They were shaking. You could see it. His lips were like shaking. That was so cute. Yeah, sure. Okay. That'll be it. There you go, Brad. Yeah. Good job. I like that. Let's do that. Good job. At least for us. All right, guys. We're here. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not here begrudgingly. But if... Okay. This trip has been the epitome of if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. It will go wrong. Mm -hmm. Like chaos theory to the max. Like, but we're here. We 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 had another we had another day of just misfortunes over and over again. I'm drawing misfortunes out on the tabletop here. I don't know if they can see. They it. can't. I'll read. That's why. It. That's why I'm like, yeah, like misfortunes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and one of said misfortunes was actually that um some of the content that we had been creating that was in one of the folders on one of our drives, the drive decided that it didn't want to be recognized anymore. Like, mm -hmm. and this time this was not my fault. Yeah. This wasn't like I accidentally bumped a drive off the bed and destroyed eight terabytes worth of content. Like this wasn't that. No, it was on the table. It was the, on the table, the it recorded day. stuff. And then all of a sudden the drive was like, no, nope. uh, yeah, we don't want to be recognized anymore. And then we went and did like the Apple repair tool which is not supposed to delete anything. And what did it do? It deleted. It deleted B folder. B folder that all of our fresh videos were in, which is where I store things that need to go off to the editor mm. to get done. Yeah. There was a lot of content on there. It's just gone. It's gone. Yeah. So, but we are here. And uh, we are going to be finally doing uh, Boomerang, uh, the MV. Now, we originally, because like Lucas and I originally did this together, um, and uh, we did the lyric video together, though. So, Brad, you're going to be able to watch. I mean, like, we've heard this song so many times at this point. Oh, yeah, I've already like, heard this song. Yeah, I repeat, because we've been listening to it. So we're not going to probably do musical analysis today. We're going to probably more talk about just, like, the aesthetics and the style of things, because, like, we don't do that as much. Like, I actually used to a lot on the channel. I would break down and do like talk about like symbolism and stuff in, in music videos and stuff. Obviously, we focus mostly on the music now, but we'll probably talk about a little bit of that today and uh, and just enjoy and celebrate the greatness of G22 together. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Please, if you haven't already, 
make sure that you like subscribe that notification bell follow along with our journey check out all the content our brand new single my light is out now you guys should uh, check that out on spotify and all the other places i think that i finally got an email back from apple because it wasn't on itunes and apple music mm -hmm. and i think i finally got an email back that they're resubmitting it now okay to them well at least that it was supposed to be there and that they're resubmitting it so it might be more i, I don't know by the time this comes out of when that's gonna be but at some point it should be on the place that it was supposed to be on and we were told it was on yeah so anyway without further ado let's go Very just really cool. Yeah. Ooh. Bright colors, neon light. Oh. What What are our favorite things? Bright colors, neon lights. But I think and you jazz stopped. and jazz is. Yeah, I was gonna say you stopped for something else. I was in awe because of it's the so light. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm OT4. I love I love all girls. They're so amazing. We've had so many cool opportunities to do stuff with them. Um, I think by the time this video comes out that our second portion of uh, our interview with them should be out, which was the um, how well do you know your bandmates? It, mm -hmm. it, seriously, guys, if you guys want to see like just a really, really good time, like and the cool thing is these groups are like G22 is so genuine. It was so fun. It was. Check it out. It'll be like in a, it'll be somewhere, somewhere, whatever. Um, but uh, it, it, it was so, so fun. And um, so I love them all. But I don't know, like Jazz's accent just, it gets me for some reason. And it was really cute. It was really cute because like as we were, um, as we were doing it, like I don't, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but like as we were doing it, I like the longer that we went on, mm -hmm. the more her accent would like come, <laughs> like come out. out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like for when we, when we did the three part series and it was just, it was just so weird. That said, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> right to, right to my heart. Thank you. If you're watching, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, we'll start over. <laughs> Dude, this color palette is so cool, though. Yeah. It's just so bright. Even the drinks, did you see that? The drinks? Everything. So, like, their, their clothes, mm -hmm. like, the contrast of color. Like, look at, just look at this, like, blur palette here. Yeah. And, like, how beautiful that is. Okay, first off, I just want to point out, if any of these dudes were sitting in front of these girls and, like, not giving them, like, 100% <laughs> of their attention, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with your lives? Um, the club head. I also really like, though, like, this is very... Um, I want to go back because I think uh, Alfea's clothes, but also like um, Bianca's hair. This is very, very reminiscent of like um, Jackie Kennedy kind of era. Like, it, like very, like almost like like sixties, seventies. Yeah. Like kind of like almost like like early like maybe like disco vibe. Like very like Austin Power. Remember like <laughs> like his his sidekick in there. Yeah. Like this is not an aesthetic that you like. A lot of things are coming back right now. Like Y two K type aesthetic is coming back. Nineties, the big like you know, Jinko jeans, big baggy stuff, like all that stuff's coming back. This yeah. is not one that we normally see, but they rock this though. Yeah. They rock this, like really, really good. Like, look, look at back here. Like, look at the little hat. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, even like Alfea's jacket. Yeah. Do you see the the like fur? Well, and, well, on, like, and, the and yeah, her, uh, and her, and her skirt too. Like, yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. Oh, all right. The drinks even is really cool. Keep the key, you'll be back Dude. Yes. Dude. That was I great. love like like see, I, girl groups I feel like don't get to dance dance 
enough. Mm-hmm. Like it, you know, because because again, a lot of a lot of everything when we think about like uh, like the girl groups and the guy groups that do like the heavy dance stuff, right? K-pop, J-pop, um, are 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 some of the big groups. But, like I always feel like in those genres. It's rare to see the girls actually dancing. Like you see it in solo stuff sometimes, but it's like it's either like cutesy or over sexual. Mm-hmm. It feels like like there's very very few times where like there's a good middle ground of that. Where like with the guy groups, I feel like they give them like these a lot like complex movements a lot, and like that makes stuff really really cool and pop. And like G twenty two does that, and it just it's so gra- it's so grabbing, right? Like it's like. The entire, like, the whole female alpha thing just exudes from them between, like, the attitude, the dance, because the dances are always really hard, like, step, mm-hmm. like, the sharp movements. Yeah. It's just, ugh. It's so cool. Also, can we talk about this aesthetic for a second? Mm-hmm. Well, it's cool. I know you love color palettes, bro. I love color palettes. What, what, what do we got going on here? So we're going from blue uh-huh. to red uh-huh. to orange. Uh-huh. And then you have, like, the silver and the white as well as like the tan yeah uh, and like even like look at the the like desks and the floor and just everything there's you could pick out like four or five colors mm-hmm. and that's what everything is matching up to be right and then she in the foreground kind of like ties everything together because she's wearing all the colors like yeah besides so besides for the blue mm-hmm. but the lights are though, reflecting reflect on her. off of it so it like ties it really re- in really really nicely Ah, very cool. Oh yeah, they all had a <laughs> Dude, I love that. I love that tension build up in there, though. Like, just to slow down the silence, the stare, like then bang playing in the background. Yeah, and then bang playing in the background. <laughs> like, man. Dude. <laughs> Scared him off. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so it's like fully a red color palette. Cause they, just like her lips cause, yeah because they're yeah, yeah. like it, it's it's almost like it's like the the seductive side right like mm-hmm. with the way that the music breaks down i just i want to say mm-hmm. i don't think like everything from them is very like female alpha but we don't we like baba league i guess has like a little bit kind of like at the surface but it's still soft like it's not necessarily meant to have that like it's like soft seductive like I don't think I could do an MV from them that's like just totally like <laughs> totally like there to seduce the audience. Mm. I don't know that I could hand. I don't think that my heart could handle that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but if you can handle it, I can handle it. <laughs> Brad's like Lucas I'll, can handle it. Brad's like I can. I don't know. I don't. I feel like putting you and Lucas on a camera alone probably not a would get our channel taken down. Probably. I don't think that that's ever a thing <laughs> that could happen in a space. But when they do it, it's going to be Lucas and I. We'll have like a little cardboard cutout of you, but we'll get to enjoy everything. No. You said it's too I'll, much for you. I'll, have, I'll actually have to like edit that <laughs> myself. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. And it'll just be, it'll just be like three seconds. It'll be like them, but their faces, and then like it'll just be a voiceover from you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're both. Of it'll us. be like a bad. It'll be like a mad. Like, have you seen the old Mad Libs 
where like they do it with like football teams and stuff like that and they oh, they make it yeah. match their lips but it's saying something else uh-huh. where yeah we'll like it'll just be like mad libs <laughs> of like different things that you guys actually probably weren't saying yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be it here <laughs> Dude, the color here is just so cool. Yeah, everything's so vibrant. Dude. So seamless. Yeah. It's like cutting between the Yeah. Keep on coming back again. You love me like a boomerang. Hey. I forgot about that part. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down here for a second. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. You gotta, you gotta keep going. Just a little bit more. I don't think I'm gonna back up. Just a little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And now you're out of it. But now I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not, oh, wait. The back of this chair goes up right now? Or did I just break it? You probably broke I it. I broke it. Well, I can't. You can't. I can't get back up. All right. We're good. We're good. Ooh. I love the glasses back, chatter at the... Wow. Republic Records, there they go. Mm-hmm. Well, it was incredible. Like we thought it was gonna be. We already knew it. They haven't put out anything that's been bad. No, oh, they haven't. No. They're so good. They are so good. They're so good. They're uh, they're like Amazon stock, you know? What do you mean? So like, okay, when Amazon first came out, hmm. maybe I'll maybe I'll like put like a tweet about this out. When Amazon, when Amazon first uh, came out, mm-hmm. they had an IPO. You could buy a share of Amazon for like roughly, it's like eighteen bucks. Mm-hmm. And then if you would have invested five hundred dollars into Amazon stock back then, based on the price that it is at now, mm-hmm. those shares at $500 would be worth like 540 some thousand dollars and some change. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is something like, cause like why I did like my business class and stuff back in the day, like Amazon was one of the big things that we did research on. And um, the way that that worked though, is it's like when, when an IPO happens, like there's generally like the prices will go up and then they'll do like a split offs to like bring the price point back into it. But then like, so basically like what they do is they bring the price down, but then like they double your initial shares and they do another, I think the Amazon had a double. So like they brought the price down and doubled the initial shares and then they had a triple after that. So you would have already had double your initial shares from there and then you would have tripled that amount. Mm-hmm. So that's how it would have ended up equaling that. But like G22 is the Amazon stock of like, music Mm -hmm. here right now like i feel like everything about them is cohesive like the music Mm -hmm. the dance and the girls themselves yeah and then like they have a good production team and like a very very solid team behind them like those pieces all need to be there to take a good from good to take a uh, a group from good to great Mm -hmm. right and if any one of those pieces are missing but like it's so helpful, you know, like when they come on and they do interviews, like they are so charismatic and so easygoing and so easy to talk to. And like, even through all the training in the world, like we've seen so many groups, right? We've seen so many K-pop groups, J-pop groups, whatever it is. We've seen so many interviews from these groups and not all groups are the same when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Like some groups are far, far better than others when it comes to that human interaction portion. Yeah. But it's the human interaction portion that gets fans from really, from like liking you to like loving you, right? Mm-hmm. To like wanting to be all in for you as an individual because they, they get to feel like they really get to know you. 
and uh, man, they have something unbelievably special, unbelievably special. And I'm super, super excited uh, to be able to kind of be on that journey and, you know, like having the chance to just have like talk to them and like, be at you the know, event. yeah, like a year or two yeah. from now when they're like, you know, at the Grammys or something <laughs> like that, we'll be like, we interviewed them, <laughs> you know, like. So it's so so cool, but they're, they're they're super super talented. And please, guys, yeah, if you haven't already, like make sure go down and uh, I always put a link to the original video like it down in the description. So um, you know, make sure that you're following them. Make sure that you're following all these artists because you know they're working really really hard. I know a lot of you discover these artists through our channel. You know, uh, maybe you watch originally like a lot of our people like watch BTS and discovered SB19 from that. Now from SB19, they've discovered G22 and all these other groups. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, make sure that you are, are also supporting uh, the artists as well and, and showing them some love on, on social media and stuff like that because they don't, uh, here in the Philippines, it doesn't seem like they have the same type of resources that, you know, the K-pop groups and J-pop groups and that do. And so it's going to be us as fans uh, that like we have to work together to push those numbers. So yeah. anyway, thank you guys. Also, huge shout out. I don't know if you guys noticed in uh, somebody bought us a care package because mm -hmm. they felt bad that our luggage had been lost so they brought us they brought us a little care package so <clears throat> make sure that uh, uh you know you show them some love too i'm not gonna name them because I, I don't know if they want but like yeah the, you guys what i mean is you guys show you guys some love because everybody's been so supportive and caring like about our journey and since we've been here all the things that have not necessarily gone right <clears throat> and uh we really really appreciate you guys doing that for us so thank you so much please if you haven't already like subscribe hit that notification bell follow along with our journey check out our live stream saturdays noon central time we'll uh be bringing those back to you as soon as we get back and uh, check out all the other content we have so much content coming out here guys uh while we're here more interviews are coming your way uh some segments we have a brand new segment that's going to be coming to you guys it's special since we've been out here so i'm super excited for you guys to see those all stream our brand new single my light on spotify or wherever you like to stream your music and if nobody told you that they love you today don't forget that we love you you're appreciated always welcome here in this channel and you are enough and last but certainly not least it was a great day to play thanks guys we will see you in the next video bye